Hey guys welcome back to the movie summary. Beginning of the movie, we see a war between two kingdoms. Gagurio soldiers move forward on their horses. Then the Taizong army shoots arrows at them. Some soldiers fall to those arrows. The rest keep moving forward. Then the Taizong soldiers' shields will be placed in front, and they will attack the Guryeo soldiers. Taizong army's target was to capture Ansi fortress. After a while the retreat flag appears. Now we see a person. His name is Samuel. In the next scene Taizong asks about a girl there. Then a man says that this girl can see the Lord of Visions. The girl has the Gaguryeo king Jumong's bow and arrows. She took these as a sign of the victory of the war. Taizong tries to shoot an arrow from that bow. Then the soldier next to him says who cannot wield this bow. On the other hand, the general Yin appoints Samuel as the cadet unit head. And says you are my believer. So you have to do something for me. He tells him to go to the Ansi fortress and kill the commander Yang there. Then Yin gives him a knife. Then Samuel says I will definitely complete this task. Later Samuel takes some soldiers and leaves for Ansi. Then a cart gets stuck there. Samuel and his soldiers help them. Samuel asks them are you from Ansi? I want to meet your commander. The man said I am the commander and my name is Yang. Yang's soldier tells the Taizong sent some spies to kill us. They can speak our language. I thinks these may be the spies. Later the Yang soldiers attack and kill Samuel's companions. They want to kill Samuel too. But Yang tells them to take Samuel as hostage. After going to the kingdom, Yang tells Samuel that Yin thinks I am a traitor. Now you are with a traitor. Just then a man comes there and wishes Samuel. Because Samuel is the last one left among the clan members. Later Samuel stares at the knife given to kill Yang. Yang goes to a poor family and plays with their baby. Family members says thanks to Yang for coming to their home. Samuel is shocked to see all this. He understands how much Yang likes people. Yang loves Ansi people very much. In the next scene Yang pulls the ropes with some people. Just then the siren sounds. Yang then goes with the soldiers towards the siren. There will be soldiers from another kingdom. They came to find out information about Ansi fortress. Yang says Taizong is close to us. He can attack us anytime. The Yang army prepares for battle. It was customary to trim the beard before going to war. Yang asks to show Samuel's dagger. Samuel shows. Yang tells him you trim my beard with your knife. Then Samuel trims him. This is a good chance for Samuel to kill Yang. Yet he does not kill Yang. Another siren sounds. Then all the soldiers go into the battleground. Among them is a lady soldier. Her name is Becca. Yang continues forward with his soldiers. Before him will be Taizong's army. That army was many times bigger than their army. Then Yang motivates his army with his words. Then the Yang army will be ready for battle. On the other hand Taizong tells his soldiers that Yang is our target. He cannot defeat us no matter how hard he tries. We have to win Ansi anyway. The war begins. They attack the Yang fortress with big stones. Then the fort starts getting damaged. Then Yang saves Samuel from a rock. Taizong sits long distance and watches everything happen. Fortress wall will not collapse no matter how many attacks. Taizong then orders his soldiers to climb the wall. On the other hand Yang orders the soldiers to shoot arrows. Some Taizong soldiers die from those arrows. But his soldiers were many. They try to climb the wall. Then the Yang soldiers throw stones at them and knock them down. Thus they stop the Taizong soldiers from climbing the wall. But from the other side Taizong soldiers climb the wall and enter the fort. Then there is a battle between the Yang and Taizong soldiers. And some soldiers break the doors. Yang orders Becca and Captain to attack. Becca will kill the enemies with all her soldiers. The ladders placed in the fortress are thrown down. Taizong's soldiers break down the fortress doors and enter. Yang had already set up a railing to stop them. Samuel is watching all this. Later the battle becomes more brutal. Yang chases all the Taizong soldiers out of the castle. Taizong then tells his army to retreat. The Yang soldiers shout that they have won. Siren sounds again. Samuel also participates in the war. Yang fights heroically. Then a spear thrusts and pierces the Yang. So he falls down. Then Taizong soldier goes to kill Yang. Just then Samuel comes and kills him. Then the commander regains consciousness. Then a soldier tells Yang that the Taizong army has retreated. Taizong tells his companions that I occupied kingdoms and thousands of kilometers of land. But I am not able to win Ansi even a small kingdom. He sends the girl next to him to Yang. She approaches Yang with the bow she has. Yang knows that the bow belongs to King Jumong. She says I am coming from Taizong. He gave you an option. 
he is building a mud fort before the next attack. That fort is taller than Ansi Fort. His army was huge. They will rain arrows on you. Taezong says that if you accept defeat for now, he will give you what you want. After hearing all this, Yang says I am ready for battle. On the other hand, the construction of the fort is going on. The soldiers tell Taezong that the fort will be completed in two months. Yang sees them building a big fortress. Then Samuel tells Yang that if you give me permission, I will go to General Yin. And I will ask for help. Yang's captain asks for permission to attack the Taezong fort. Yang gives permission for that. After that Becca says who goes into Taezong place won't come back. Even if the captain goes, the chances of winning are less. To that Yang says we have no other option but this. Knight captain and his soldiers attack Taezong's army. Actually, it is already known that the captain is coming to there. They trap the captain. The captain approaches Yang with injuries and dies. Becca cries a lot because the captain died. With the help of Jumong bow and arrow, the girl gave the information to Taezong soldiers about their plan. So the soldiers kill the girl. Unable to bear the death of the captain, Becca goes to kill the Taezong soldiers. But they kill her too. On the other hand Samuel goes to General Yian. And says Commander Yang is not as bad as you think. He was a great man who laid down his life for his people. Taezong is going to attack Ansi. He needs your help. After hearing all this General Yian says, I sent you to kill Yang. But you didn't kill him, and saying unnecessary things. Yian going to kill Samuel and stops. Samuel again tells Yian that you call Yang a traitor, but he is not that kind of person. Samuel asks Yian that you should help Ansi anyway. On the other hand, Yang and his spies makes plans. A man in it says we will dig a cave under the Taezong fort. After that we will set fire there and demolish the fort. Taezong fort is finally completed. The Yang soldiers dig a cave under the fort. They tried to set fire to destroy that fort. But their plan is not successful due to rain. Then Yang soldiers says we will demolish that fort with axes. But if they do, they will all die under that fort. However, they are all ready to give their lives to save Ansi. Then the fort will collapse. Thus most of Taezong's army will die. Yang then orders his soldiers to attack. A bitter war is going on between the two. It will be night while fighting. Yang's arm is badly injured while fighting the morning battle. Then he takes King Jumong bow. Then a soldier says who cannot wield this bow. Then Yang prays to the god and releases the arrow to end this war. The arrow pierces Taezong directly in the eye. Then Taezong admits that I am defeated. Samuel also arrives there with Yin's army. Taezong is shocked to see all this. He tells his soldiers not to attack the Guryeo. Then he dies. The Yang soldiers are happy to have won the battle. Later Samuel and Yang talk. This is how this movie ends. 99% people watch my videos without subscribing. I am working hard to make these videos. My humble request to subscribe my channel to grow.